Lilia is a magical fawn, collecting dreams for her mother tree. Darting in and out of battle while wielding her branch staff, she sends foes to their slumber, mumbling apologies along the way. Sorry, sorry. It's a scary world out there, but you're the real fawn of the Fed. Welcome to the Lilia Champion Spotlight. Blooming Blows blasts nearby enemies with magic damage, plus true damage along the outer edge sweet spot. Blooming Blows also has a passive component. All of Lilia's spells that hit enemies grant her added movement speed for a short time. These prances stack up to five times, enabling you to put the petal to the metal. Speaking of passives, she has another one. Spells on enemies also apply Dream Dust, which deals maximum health damage over time. Look who's blooming now! Lilia winds up a huge strike, dashing and damaging enemies in the area. Those at the center will pay dearly, taking tons of damage. Was... was that... me? Enemies are not the only ones who need to watch out. Lilia cannot jump over walls with the dash. Lilia lobs a Swirl Seed that damages and slows enemies where it lands. Swirl Seed has infinite range, so it rolls until it hits an enemy or collides with terrain. Because it can fly out from across the entire map, you don't want to be caught like a deer in the headlights. So, proceed with caution. All enemy champions afflicted by Dream Dust, no matter how far away they are, become drowsy and slow for a few seconds before falling asleep. Sleepy time! If they're awakened by damage, they take a bunch more. Haha, <laughs> Dream Dust Printer goes. Lilia's forte is speedies and sleepies. Run in, put everyone to sleep, and dot them. Then, tippy-tap out. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How can I tiptoe when I don't have toes? Start games by clearing jungle camps with blooming blows, darting away to kite monsters, and prancing faster and faster as you go. Sweet spots are always a fixed distance away from you, so if you want to clear the jungle well at all, you must kite the camp backwards for maximum damage. Your ability to kite is what separates your team's dearest ally from just another Jane Doe. PvP combat is also difficult in the early game. Avoid getting caught by enemy champions, using your speed as an advantage while you're squishy. D don't judge a flower by its bud, you. As you power up, Lilting Lullaby can be a clutch escape tool or all of the setup your team needs to deliver a rude awakening. During mid to late game, look to hit high value foes hiding out at the outer edges with bloom and glows, and in the center with watch out, eep! When they snooze, they lose. I'll face anything, but won't look it in the eyes. <laughs> For more things, Lilia, click the links in the description. And remember, always believe in your dreams.